Yesterday, the head of the CDC, as you know, said that it was safe to reopen schools without vaccinating teachers. You said that the White House was still waiting to waiting for the official guidance before making a final determination. Why isn't what the director of the CDC says, why isn't that enough? Well, first, the, the director of the CDC also has said they haven't issued their final guidance. And we, of course, wait for that process to complete and see its way through, as she would say as well. I believe she did an interview last night where she spoke to this uh, issue again. The president, uh, let me be crystal clear, wants schools to open. He wants them to stay open. Um, and that is and he wants to do that safely. And he wants health and medical experts to be the guides for uh, how we should do exactly that. So we're just not, she, uh, the, the, uh, Dr. Walensky um, spoke to this uh, in her personal capacity. Obviously, she's the head of the CDC, but we're going to wait for the final guidance to come out so we can use that as a guide for schools around the country. And so if this final guidance come out, comes out and it says that it is fine for schools to reopen without vaccinating teachers, can you say now that that is what President Biden will support? Well, I'm happy. I hope you'll come back whenever it whenever the guidance comes out. The president has prioritized, believes it's a, should be a priority for teachers to be vaccinated. Uh, he also, though, believes that even with vaccinations for teachers or for any American, that there are a number of other mitigation steps that are important to take mass. Uh, and I'm sure this will be in the guidance when it comes out um, uh, or it, they'll speak to it, I should say. Uh, mat, the wearing of masks, social distancing, ventilation. These are all factors that are important for Americans and also for the reopening of schools. That's one of the reasons that we need funding in order to be able to effectively ensure that public schools across the country uh, are able to do that. And one more question mm -hmm. on this point. Uh, Michael Bloomberg said yesterday that it's time for President Biden to stand up and say that the kids are the most important thing and stand up to the teachers' unions. If it comes down to a binary choice and there's no indication that, you know, the teachers union in Chicago or, or San Francisco are willing to budge at this point, if it comes down to a binary choice, who would the president choose, the kids or the teachers? I, I think that's a little bit unfair how you pose that question, but I will say the president believes schools should be open. Teachers want schools to be open. Families want schools to be open, but we want to do it safely. And I'm not sure that any parent in this country would disagree with wanting their kids to go to school in a safe environment where there's ventilation, where proper precautions are taken, whether it's masks or social distancing, and that's his priority. But there should be no confusion. The President of the United States wants schools to open. He wants them to stay open, and that is key, too. He doesn't want them to be open for a month. That's disruptive for teachers, for students, for families. Uh, so he wants the uh, proper steps to be taken so that they can be reopen and stay uh, stay open.